<laughs> so then, here is our peak today at 600 meters. So we've not quite made it to the top. Back in September, we decided to go off on our first little adventure as a family. So we packed the car and headed off to Snowdonia to stay in a gorgeous little teepee. Originally, we'd been planning to try and walk the Dales way in September. Ambitious, I know. But a busy summer put paid to those plans as we simply had not had enough time to practice walking and camping with a baby. Both Anna and I grew up in families that put a lot of emphasis on spending time in the outdoors and we want Fox to have the same experience growing up. And as a family, we want to live a life that is as active, outdoorsy and adventurous as possible. The teepee was in a stunning location and made things really easy. And the amazing weather meant we could spend loads of time outside together as a family. Whilst there, we decided to try and summit our first mountain with Fox, Mole Shabbard. <laughs> We've just got to go up there, Anna. <laughs> At this point, he was still classed as a newborn. It was Anna's first big walk since giving birth, and it was nearly 30 degrees, so it was a tough day for all of us. The tarn on the way up provided us with the perfect place to rest and cool off. But it became apparent as we got closer to the summit that we weren't going to make it and the idea of carrying on would be slightly foolish. Instead we stopped at just over 600 metres and had a chat on our reflections of becoming parents for the first time and trying to live an active, outdoorsy, adventurous lifestyle with a newborn baby. So, enjoy. So then, here is our peak today at 600 meters, so we've not quite made it to the top. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, originally we were meant to be walking the Dales way and that was a plan. I spoke to Anna about it uh, and she was up for it. We were going to do loads of walking over summer, do some camping practices as well in the Peak District close to home. And summer was just so busy. We wanted as many people as we could uh, to meet Fox. <laughs> so it was just, you know, it was pretty full on. Um, and we didn't get in anywhere near as much walking as we wanted to or as much practice. So, it, you know, actually we decided that it just, it would be a stupid idea without having done the practice to go and do it um, and you know similarly today we want to be intentional that we live a life with Fox that is active that is outdoorsy and is adventurous but I think we try and hold our plans lightly and we're yeah. still learning a lot <laughs> yeah um, and actually you know there's nothing wrong with that I think you know, you see loads of amazing people on social media, on YouTube, and uh, who do go and do crazy stuff with newborn babies, but everyone's different and everyone's capacity is different. Mm. Um, and I think I would still <laughs> rather shoot for the stars and land on the moon mm, yeah, <laughs> rather 100%. than not do anything. So, I mean, today's been amazing. We've got 600 meters, had a great swim. Fox has enjoyed himself. So, you know. What do you want, really? Yeah. 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 How have you found it? Like, obviously, being a mum for the first time, what has been the biggest shocks and surprises for you? Gosh. One of the things for me has been just everything. I know people tell you, I think people tell you a lot of things and you try and take it in, but you don't really understand until. Yeah, until have... actually you actually have a baby right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Everything just takes longer. Yeah. No, yeah, that's so true. Yeah. yeah, how long it takes to get out the door is, yeah, just, it wouldn't, wouldn't, didn't shock me, but yeah, I wasn't quite prepared for that. Even yeah. though people had said, oh, it takes ages, you don't really realise until yeah. it's you. I think also, like, how, I think you know that, 
like breastfeeding is hard work because like some people can't do it and people struggle and I definitely did um, so that was a bit of a I wouldn't say maybe a shock but the, one of the hardest things has been breastfeeding but it's also one of the most amazing things yeah at the same time and actually I think breastfeeding um, you know it is incredibly helpful when you want to do more active mm, things yeah, and outdoors and things is like actually coming up here with a bottle with formula and thinking about all that and keeping it at the right temperature like would, would have been, been a incredibly trickier. difficult yeah. but actually In breasts ready to go <laughs> on tap yeah. we like it on tap don't we yeah you can do it you could do it for sure but <clears throat> it's yeah it's just it definitely one less thing yeah. to pack so I think it was interesting in our NCT class that we did beforehand. Um, basically, all the mums said that like breastfeeding had been the hardest thing. Yeah. Um, Everyone had different challenges in different ways with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. But yeah. Um, how do, how do you feel? Kind of, um, you know, before. Before this, we did loads of walking. You had started getting into triathlon and yeah. running and you had a very difficult pregnancy didn't you like mm. you had not morning sickness but you were really tired in the first trimester oh yeah like never been so tired yeah yeah and then had one good week and then you got <laughs> pelvic, pain. pelvic pain for the rest of it yeah yeah it was hard work yeah and having an active active job as well do you want to would... say what you do yeah i work at forest school nursery um and yeah, so we're on our feet all the time, bending down a lot to look after children and you know, all the things that come with that. So it took its toll after a while. I had to go on that leave quite early on in the end. Um, but the amazing thing is that when he was born, it went like, straight away. So yeah, yeah, I was back, right back to being like doing, well, my first walk was, I think I was nine, it was nine days after he was born. Yeah. Um, and then like slowly I've just been doing more walking and most of it's just been like along the valley where we live and you know a bit out in the peak district but it's just been really nice to not have to worry about oh how far should I go you know will I be in pain if I do this extra bit and I've yeah. just been able to enjoy it um and just take him outdoors and he loves it so it's yeah great. <clears throat> and this has been oh look at that <gasps> oh <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that. <laughs> daddy long legs if you didn't see that um yeah and this is like the first so um you did a sprint your first sprint triathlon didn't you i think it was like two years ago coming up a year and a half ago yeah it was may yeah last it was may last year yeah yeah so <clears throat> yeah we've agreed to do it again haven't we so we've yeah. got something to aim for uh, but this has been like, we've done a few, we did one kind of tough walk in the Peak District up Wind Hill. Mm. But this has been your first like real challenge, hasn't oh, it? Yeah, this is a lot, there's a lot more elevation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot that's, more elevation. If it was flat, I could have gone for a yeah. lot longer, but obviously it's a mountain. So it's yeah. <laughs> how, how, how does your body feel? Quite sore. <laughs> <laughs> My hips mostly are quite sore. Yeah. Um, yeah, at the moment I'm sitting down, so I can't really feel it yet. I'll be feeling it tomorrow, I think. But Wait. I feel good at the same time. Yeah. But when you're carrying him as well, you have to get used to like kind of walking in a different way, don't you? Yeah, you have to engage. Your center of gravity your, is different. Yeah, you have to really engage your core, which I don't really have much core strength since giving birth yet. Um, but yeah, it takes a strain on your hips with that carry, which is better than your back. But yeah, it does also hurt your back as well. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. A bit sore. And tired, but I'm glad that we've done it. It's been good fun. It's been fun. I've he seems it. to have enjoyed it as well. Yeah, until now. Until he's yeah. ready to go back. <laughs> yeah. Probably a bit, yeah, a bit hot and bothered. I think as well, like, um, one thing I would say to new parents is obviously the, there are things you can do right and wrong, but don't get too caught up on it. Like, mm. I think the thing that I've learned is that, you know, Fox has been pretty a pretty calm baby he's um he's been a bit fussy over the last few weeks but on the whole he's been really calm uh, and been a really easy baby mm. 
and like that's just look at the draw mm. um and we've had loads of help haven't we <laughs> yeah we have which we makes a huge us. difference for to be able to uh, you know we've been staying at your parents this week who have helped out which means that we can come mm. here um, and we're not absolutely exhausted mm. yeah um because we've had that help and support so yeah we've been massively blessed haven't we mm. yeah we have done mm. yeah so I think it's just about trying it, trial and error. Yeah. We know how much what to take, we think, at the moment for like short short walks and like what we need to pack for him so far. Yeah. So we haven't had any nightmares. We're getting yet. there. Yeah. Yeah. We're learning. And I think we'll just, that's it. Like we're, you know, we're, we're probably going to keep making plans where we overshoot. <laughs> yeah. But I think we'll just, you know, not be embarrassed about saying actually no we can't do that yeah um and yeah i think that's the key thing is like don't overdo it because what is what is the point in overdoing it yeah. just getting absolutely shattered just do yeah. whatever <laughs> do what yeah. is ever you're capable with exactly yeah. and on another day we may have felt differently and had more energy and been able to do yeah. it it just depends on the day everything yeah. it's different every day with a baby yeah and every month and every week and yeah, <laughs> yeah. This but yeah, good. that's that's some of our insight, guys, for us. I think we maybe should head down. Yeah, Fo <laughs> Fox wants to finish now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 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 yeah, Fox says it's time to finish.